Okay. So, yeah, this is the first time I'm playing Metroid Prime. I have played Prime 3, but that was during the Wii era, and that was a long time ago, so... Yeah. I've always been interested in playing the original. I'm really hoping the treatment they have given this one is something that they're going to do to the other two. But yeah, I've heard that this is good as far as remakes go, like really good. So, or remasters. It's such a weird term now. It's like, what's a remake? What's a remaster, really? Okay, now the one thing I do want to change immediately from what I've been told. Give me a sec. We want full narration, so it like matches the Japanese version of the game. This was an interesting thing. Um, apparently Americans didn't get narration in this game at all. <laughs> and then Europeans and Australians got some. But then the Japanese version had everything, so we want that enabled, absolutely. Um, how's the volume, by the way? I think it's okay. Looking at the volume bars, it seems fine. Okay. Uh, normal. I ain't no casual. All right, settle in. I hope that means I don't have to do reading. Volume is okay? All right, cool. Yeah, I love music from the Metroid series. It's always a good time. Unidentified distress beacon, they've been picked up, blah, 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 blah. Still playing it. The cosmos. In the vast universe, the history of humanity is but a flash of light from a lone star. The life of a single person should be lost in space and time. But among the stars, there is one light that burns brighter than all others. The light of Samus Aran. Her battles extend beyond her life and etch themselves into history. Here, another chapter of that history yeah already i can i can see that this is a very good remaster if th this was truly a gamecube game they have like ups the detail and everything I love I love me some Metroid, so Ugh, that theme. Okay. Oh man, that theme is oh, so good. Okay. The other thing is FPS is with controllers, but you know, it's fine. Switch does not appear to be operational.
False fill activation switches are now online. This is probably like the perfect game to tune into at night because the ambience and everything. So it's gonna it's gonna be dark here. Status environment unstable. Reactor and core propulsion environment normal. I do remember that this was the thing of the Prime games was like scanning absolutely everything. You know what? Hold on. I want ambience. I'm turning off the lights. I turned off the lights in here. Yeah, this is much better. Entrance to airlock. Okay. Airlock pressurization successful. Hmm. I don't know how it worked. I guess I could just walk through it. Probably should have scanned on, eh? I think there's something about scanning them. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Morphology, parasite, interstellar vermin, they travel in swarms. Morphology, space pirate, status, death caused by acidic burns to body, chemical type unknown. Hold on. Weak life signs detected. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be like. Tell me something. Escape pods are all launched. Tail section possesses a mouth mouth like orifice, most likely used for birthing offspring. Ugh. Analysis shows incredibly large muscle structures surrounding jaw area. Morphology unknown. High levels of radiation detected. Death caused by severing the spinal cord. The platform does not look like it can be activated from this room. Entrance to deck alpha access hall. Escape pod entrance, the vessel has already been jettisoned. Biohazardous material, phase on, batch, phase on, that stuff. Okay. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't spend too much time worrying about that stuff.
Ah. Access a deck bay to approve. Please step into the hologram. Use the mothball? Why? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this shit. <laughs> Not gonna lie, like when I saw Metroid Prime for the first time on the GameCube, I it, it tempted me to get one, but like, I think the ultimate reason may have been, and this might seem stupid in hindsight. It's just, it didn't have a, it didn't have a DVD player chat, so it was kind of hard to, like, sell everyone on the idea of just spending so much money on a, on just a game console. The PS2 was an easier sell. As sad as, as, sad as that might be, because the GameCube had an excellent library. I think that was their biggest mistake, was just not using DVDs. I think had they have done that, it would have been a more popular console, I feel. Phase on the fusion stage for lava... Diagnostic cell structure failing. Assessment cell structure failing. Does not match DNA. Terminating infusion sequence. Phase and infusion stage 2. Introducing mutagen into Chank. Status complete. Phase on stage 3. Mutation initiated. Lava status stable. Phase on infusion status 1. Parasitic lava. Diagnostic mass 1.2, length 0.5, cell structure stable. Morphology unknown. This specimen has been horribly mutated. There are no life readings. Bioform pain tolerance levels 13% and holding. Elevator operational. Please step into the hologram. Hang on. Infusion analysis, 10.2, Have a rocket. Oh yeah, right. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm being too greedy here, but... I forgot you need to scan everything. Plated parasite lava, native of Talon. Four. Zuma, native of Talon. Four. Specimen solitary holding. Two. Phase on level. Toxic status. Hermetic seal holding. War wasp. The war wasp. Plasmite. 
Parasitic Lava. Shriek Bat. Obstruction detected in reactive ventilation system. Security codes on auto turrets are changed every other lunar cycle. Stupid security. <laughs> they make it seem like it's so much worse than what it is. Before I get it, I just wanted to scan it. Access to Deck Gamma approved. Please step into the hologram. Death caused by severe lacerations to abdomen. The device does not seem to be functional. There must be something nearby that will turn it on. Door lock enabled. Please insert metallic sphere to open the door. Metallic sphere, you say? has been added to your lockbook. Auto turret. Use missiles to break out of casing. Okay. Well, I mean... Or I could just do that. Like, that works too. There we go. Charge beam can now can be used to draw pickups. Oh. Yes. Door lock enable, please. Insert metallic sphere. I want I want that log data. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> Just keep strafing. <laughs> Be a Metroid game if I didn't have to do this. What? Oh, this way. No, hang on. What am I looking at here? This was. Please I come with a hologram, All right? Forget about the visor thing. Creature is deceased. What? No, it's not. Lies. Oh, okay, now it is. Through the pain. They're just a distraction. But is that the right way? No, hang on. No, it is. It is. has to be.
Oh no. Really? Oh, I love that move. Where is that coming from? Elevator, elevator, where's the elevator switch? Jeez. Right, but where is it? There. Okay. Oh. Basic suit. I mean, this is cool, just explaining how you lose all your power <laughs> abilities, as opposed to just like starting a new game and it's just gone, even though you were all powerful. I do appreciate the explanation for that. Tracking on enemy target has been lost. Ground-based recon required. Begin landing sequence. Yes. Uh, Mothball is like inactive at the moment, All right? So we are basic now. Found Fern. This lichen seems to be giving off low levels of radiation. No match is found for flora and fauna. Wow. <laughs> this, this ship is part of it, I guess. Missile expansion. Oh, but I need to be able to use the morph ball. Okay. 
Also this music though. gonna keep doing this. <laughs> Her charge beam isn't is inactive, right? I was like, wait, it's not working? Yeah. I think I may have come here too early. Instead of going through the door directly in front of me, I overcomplicate it. happen once. I was going to say, shouldn't that I just want to make sure I'm thorough here. I almost feel like I'm playing Pokemon Snap a little bit. Just, ah, oh, take a picture. Make sure I have the entries. I 
Access to Chozo Ruins West granted. Step into the hologram. These pillars have collapsed from erosion. Carbon dating cannot determine the age of the structures. Seismic disturbance at ruined site. Seismic activity detected. Okay. Recorded to logbook. New Chozo lore entry has been downloaded. This looks really good so far. I mean, they've definitely put a lot of effort into this. I mean, when you compare this to other remasters or collections, this is very high effort. I think back to what they did for the 3D collection for Mario. Ah, oh, man. They could have done so much with that. The ledge this object rests on cannot be reached. He stands the pit of fallen from the walkway above. The music. Within a highly reflective surface, it does not appear important. Structural weakness detected in sandstone block. So. Okay, never mind. When is the new Prime coming out? There's no release date. Development, they had to restart it, so. It's like, all we know of it is just the logo. That's pretty much it. And usually high concentrations of poison identified in leaves.
I wish I didn't take so long to scan creatures in, but... I think missiles can probably take that out. The new Prime is going to be first person. Yeah, the Prime series is, is always first person. When they don't use the word Prime, it's usually 2D. It's just, I'd be willing to bet that, like, whatever console Nintendo does next, that's when we're going to see it. I think it's too late for it to be on the Switch. The only translatable symbol was Chozo. Okay. I would imagine they're going to give the other two games the same treatment as this and just release them, like, in a remastered form just to keep us tied over, but still going to be a while. What did I think of Dread? I found Dread fun. The only thing I didn't like about Dread at the start, and this is just my opinion, is just I think they started with the insta-death insta stuff way too early. Instead of letting you get your footing and kind of explore the world a little, it's like, oh, immediately just you kind of hit a brick wall pretty quickly. But then, once you get pa past that initial phase, then it's okay, you're allowed to explore. So I did find that a little jarring. But otherwise, it was fun. Is Wind Waker remastered? No. Probably won't be. Because they already did it for the Wii U, so it's kind of like, what else could they add to it other than, oh, this is literally just the Wii U game ported over. Like, they, what else are they going to add? Same with Twilight Princess, because it was done on the Wii U. It's highly unlikely they're going to bring it to the Switch. I mean, there's a small chance, but not really likely. Like, typically when they remaster or bring things over to the Switch, they tend to add new features to it. Just to justify the selling point. But if it's just a straight-up a port, like, people expect it to be cheaper, and Nintendo aren't going to do that. And again, this one was surprising how well they priced it. I thought it was going to be, like, a full price game, but it wasn't. But, I mean, you look at Skyward Sword, for example, like... That was expensive... stronger console the switch <laughs> the way can't do anything remotely close to 720p graphics stably the switch can at least sometimes do HD it's like almost a 20 year difference between the two it's a no-brainer
Well, maybe not 20, 15. 20 is too much, but a long time in tech years, even if it was just a 10 year difference. But, I mean, power doesn't matter ultimately. Oh my god, these things are annoying. Hey. Yeah, but like, do I need to scan this? No, it's okay. Ah, that... That sound effect is so... It's so good. <laughs> Energy tank. Alright, but it didn't add it to the log. Oh, but see, this looks like I might have to come back here. Because that looks like a morph ball area. What is it warning me about? Oh, this? The acid water, maybe? This is my first time playing a- yeah, Prime 1. I, I played 3, but I never played the original because I didn't have a GameCube. to this again. Okay, so I can't go there without the morph ball. I guess just continue along the corridor. FPS Metro gives new Doom vibes. No, it's definitely probably why it's <laughs> as popular as it is. Yeah, I'm gonna deal with those things permanently. There we go. Oh, save point. <laughs> I should have gotten that on the way in. It's okay. That works. Okay, we can come back here later.
Don't care. <laughs> Bye. The rockets regenerate. Uh, you get them from drops from kills or the specific rooms that'll recharge rockets. Is this a thing? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to probably come back when I have the morph ball. It's, yeah, the idea of Metroid is you start weak and then you find more to increase your limits on everything. So it's just progressive upgrades. Go through the Okay. Um, the only thing that leaves is here. Yeah. Obviously, the moment I drop into this pit, something's going to happen. <laughs> Watch. Ah, oh, yeah, drop into the inconspicuous pit. <laughs> Do it. You watch the Zelda 2 PC VODs on the YouTube stuck to catch stream. Oh, welcome, Smith. Glad to have you. Yeah, that was that was a good uh fan game remake, I don't know. <laughs> but it was great. Kinda reminds me that uh someone's done one for Castlevania 2. I've been meaning to check it out, but I just haven't made the time. <laughs> but yeah, they've uh they've given Castlevania 2 a similar treatment. Just Cleaning up a lot of the jank and making it a game. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. But like, I, when I played 3, I felt compelled to complete the logbook. I don't know why. I have a theory about these remasters, well, this remaster is like, they're gonna release a remaster of a Metroid Prime game, like, maybe every nine months until Prime 4 releases. I get the feeling that's what's gonna happen. Like, towards the end of the year, we're gonna hear about Metroid Prime 2 remastered, and then 
sometime next year we'll hear about three, and then at the end of next year four will release. That's what I think they're gonna do. Something along those lines. I don't get bombs yet, do I, though? No, it's just the ball. Okay. Wait, can I go in here? I can. You have said Echoes was your favorite Metroid game, and we'll definitely get the remaster, even though you already own the trilogy. I think they've set, like, yeah, a pretty high expectation here now. So if they do two, it has to be of this quality. I mean, I'm kind of impressed. When I saw this being announced, I was like, okay. I didn't expect it to be to this extent, like, in terms of visuals being remade. And then the even bigger surprise was just the price point of it. Like, I was expecting what they were going to do with um, Skyward Sword. Like, you know, not a full price game. But they didn't, so hey. But yeah, I only got to play Corruption, and I did get the trilogy. I do own the trilogy, in fact. But I just never got around to playing it. Like, I think around that time, I finished, um... I finished three, and then not shortly after that, I think I moved out of home, so... The Wii kind of stayed with the younger brothers, so I never got a chance to play t 1 and 2. Oh, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. I'm sure I'll be able to get up there later. You live in Quebec and drove to New York State to pick up the Prime Trilogy on the way. Yeah. Because that was available in very limited quantities. With the Trilogy, at the time I was working in Kmart, so... I worked in the, the gaming area, so I was able to put aside a copy. But I do remember the day that that went on sale, man, they just... Went, flew off the shelves pretty quickly. And then we just didn't get any more in. Like, that was it. <laughs> Whatever came initially, that's all it was. I've heard it's the same for um, this release as well. Like, the physical copies have just... ...pretty much vanished already. Like, people panic buying them. What was that? Oh, that doorway down the side. Yep, 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 yep. But is there a way through here? That's what I want to see. It's probably another way around. Man, this music is so good. Hang on, where was that room that I got up to earlier? Had like a, a tree blocking the way. I think it was... Up. It's honestly been nice being able to replay some of these games that I never really got a chance to check out. The OSTs of all three games um, are staples on your phones and work playlists. Nice. I like, um, even though I haven't played Echoes, I love uh, Torvus Bog. Like, <laughs> in fact, quite a bit during my 
my BRB screens, I tend to play that one. I just have a soft spot for that theme. on this right now it's just yeah okay oh that's cool when I shot the rocket, I could see Samus's eyes in the reflection of the visor. Hang on, let me do the scan. The old scan. <laughs> One day, Nintendo will, will catch up and will have achievements. And then this sort of gameplay will be rewarded. Hopefully in the year 2030, they'll have, like, an online service that is worthy of the 2010s. See what I did there? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm saying they're always behind in 10 years. Like, in 10 years' time, they might have an online service that's worthy of 10 years ago. Dude, achievements in games, like, that was on the PS3. It's not, it's not a big deal, right? Like, you know, you can go without them. The PS3 online was free. Yeah, but, you know, different times. But see, there are, there are some games that, man, their online experience on Switch. Yeah. Like, I think a game from the year 2000 probably would run better online. And that's no joke. Like, the one off the top of my head is Mario Maker. The multiplayer in that, if any person got lag, the way they compensated for it was they would reduce the frame rate of every everyone else's game, so then it would be like, oh, okay, yep, everything's lined up. So there were so many times where you'd enter a multiplayer game and the game would run at like three FPS. Not even kidding. <laughs> you know when you exaggerate like, oh, it runs at like 10 FPS? No, this is no exaggeration. Like, it was, it was that bad, which is disappointing, but. Yeah. There are other games that run well. Like, it's not every game, but it shouldn't be like that. Why is PC free and consoles subscription? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know how to answer that one. The one, it's like 11.30 at night here, so like, if I was to come up with a response, it probably wouldn't be eloquent enough. The Mario 35 thing ran fine with, with yeah, 100 people playing. Well, exactly. Mario 35 was great. <laughs> and in classic Nintendo fashion, they, they did something good. 
and then we're like, no, you know what, this is limited only. Let's just, let's just shut it down. They should have, they should have left that game. Like, continue to run. Because it was popular, and it was fun, and it was... To me, that would have been the selling point of, like, their online service. Oh yeah, you get some pretty cool exclusive games. Like Mario 35, like the addictive battle royale game. That I, uh, I did well in, by the way. <laughs> Typically. The only battle royale game I've ever done well in. But, uh... Nope. Just, they shut it down, sadly. This runic symbol has been activated. Okay. Oh, I see. I gotta scan them all. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I played a bit of Mario Kart online, and that seemed okay. Uh, Mario Party was really stable, surprisingly. And this is someone from Australia, like playing with American friends as well. Um. Ran surprisingly smooth. Uh, whenever I do anything online with a Pokemon game, it's just hot garbage. It just, just doesn't work. It just doesn't work, so. Ooh, that's not going well for me. Okay, there's the other one. I just have to look around. But, I mean, they can only get away with that for so long. One day they'll make a game that requires an online to work properly, and they will mess it up in a colossal manner. And then that'll be like the tipping point where people just won't trust it anymore. Kind of like how Bethesda games, before Fallout 76, like, you knew Bethesda games were buggy, right? But you would excuse them because at the end of the day, they offered a pretty good RPG experience, right? Despite it being buggy and crashing, like, it's still worth a game worth playing. Like, New Vegas, I, I love that game. Even though it would crash to desktop constantly and I got weird issues. But I still like it. But then with Fallout 76, that was like... There was no good gameplay there. <laughs> At least not initially, I don't know about now. And so that kind of illusion of, oh, you know, it's okay, they make good games. Just excuse the bugginess, it was gone. And I think something similar will happen to Nintendo is like... They'll try to make a game that has online features and then mess it up. And then at that point, people will be like, no. Why is it online s this bad? I'm gonna try and find health. Nintendo has an easier out than Bethesda because they have the whole family friend vi friendly vibe going. Yeah, I mean, to some extent. But, like, remember, Nintendo has almost made a few mistakes that have cost them dearly, right? Like, the Wii U, take the Wii U, for example, like, that console almost brought the company down. It's possible. Oh, good. Okay, we're okay. Or, like, <laughs> I think their biggest mistake, and it's a very interesting story, is just um, what happened in the Super Nintendo era before the Nintendo 64. How they, par they were partnering with Sony to create a CD drive. And then they kind of went be behind Sony's back and partnered with another company. And that other company got, uh, as part of the deal, got rights to be able to use Nintendo's characters in some games. 
So like Zelda and Mario. And uh, they made quite possibly the worst games ever. Phillips, yes. So, you know, they made the Zelda games that are just famous in meme culture. And Hotel Mario as well. Three horrendous Zelda games and then I think two Mario games that were just... Well, they weren't as bad. It was still... They weren't Mario games, really. <laughs> and the reason they did it was because... And this is, again... Speculation, but probably the case. Like, a, a lot of journalists and stuff have kind of... Through, in, through interviews have confirmed this, or at least gotten it close to confirming. Is that they were worried Sony were going to get into the, the gaming industry. So that's why they did it. And the end result was, you know, those abomination of video games were made. And uh, Sony made the PlayStation and got into the gaming industry. <laughs> so they created their biggest competitor. The competitor, that, by the way, like during the N64 era, took so many franchises that were like, when you thought of them, you thought they're on Nintendo. You know, they were pretty much synonymous with Nintendo. And then, yeah, that whole thing just shifted everything. Praise and small creature, vulnerable only from within, okay. I kind of want to play those games at some point, just for history's sake. I like, I like weird little things like that, especially if they have a story. I don't mind playing stuff if it's horrible, but... Philips lost the tech cool, now it's just a consumer product company. But they could have been bigger than Intel. Yeah, I mean, that does happen. There's a lot of what-ifs, like... I firmly believe that if Nintendo had not done what they did to Sony, right? And partnered with them to make that CD drive... Oh, by the way, the kicker is the CD drive never came out. That's- that's the kicker. Like, <laughs> the Nintendo disc CD drive based thing never came out. That's the kicker. But like, you know, had that gone through, then Sony probably wouldn't have entered the console market, right? Which probably would have bought Sega more time, and I, I believe that, like, Sega would still be making consoles today, if it weren't for that. Because that's ultimately what did Sega, and was like, you know, they had to compete with Sony, and then Microsoft, and... They just made a bunch of mistakes themselves, where they rushed stuff. So it's like... Pretty interesting chain of events that happened during that era. One day I'll, I'll go back and play um, those games though, because they have such a cult following, and from what I've heard, people have even gone to the extent of like modernizing them to some degree so they're more playable. Particularly the Zelda games, um, from like upscaling the cutscenes to just adding a bunch of quality of life stuff to those games. There's even, from what I've heard, a community that still makes stuff for like that console, which is kind of nuts. Oh, wait, scan it first. Okay, I could I could remember in 3 that I think scanning items was a thing. Maybe not in this one. Which games? Um, I don't remember the games, but they're, they're basically the Zelda games on the CDI. I always confuse CDI with, with 3DO because it's just the same sort of console, but... What is it? It's like the Wand of Gamelot or something like that? And Faces of Evil?
I mean, look them up. Just z the the Zelda CDI games, and you'll you'll know exactly what they are because you you would have seen them pop up for sure. They're not going to be a fun playing experience, but it'll be it'll be for memes because we get to see the cutscenes and they're fantastic. You know, oh wow, they're so horrible, fantastic kind of way. But yeah, I mean, I think it'll be amusing. Watching me struggle through that game. I think most people <laughs> do give up. They don't finish it. Because it's, it's just one of those things where it's just clunky gameplay. Watch the AVGN episodes about them. They're pretty funny. Yeah, AVGN does a good job. Um, just pointing out the absurdities that you have to go through. But yeah, I mean, they have reworked them. There are fan projects that have made them a little more palatable. Like, just cleaning up a little bit of the jank as, as best as they can. I kind of love that premise though, right? Um, kind of taking a game that wasn't popular back in the day or like maybe it was horrible and then fixing it up I think that's that's a pretty cool thing in terms of preservation that seems to be happening quite a bit these days I mean between Zelda 2 uh, Castlevania 2 and some of the stuff that they're doing with you know those CDI games it's, it's cool to see that. Like, I'd like to see more retro games that probably on the surface had a good gameplay idea, but it just wasn't executed properly to get cleaned up. I think it's, it's pretty neat. I don't think I can go through here. This is just acid. Classic games are better than new ones. No microtransactions. Early games won't lie service. Now like it's 50%. Uh, if you're talking about AAA, yeah it is. But as a general thing, when you take indie games into account, it's not as bad as you'd think it is. It's just the AAA industry, that's what it's become is like live service effectively. Because the budgets they're putting into this stuff equates to basically a movie. So, investors want to make their money back. Or shareholders, they want them to be happy. You know, capitalism. That's the TLDR. Uh, where am I going from here? I guess go back out the way I came. Was there anything that I needed to do here? I'll have another look around, just in case there's like a secret tunnel or something. Oh no, this is acid now. It got sunk. Okay, let's just go out. But you know, it's possible to release these companies to release games that um, aren't live servicey. Like, you know. Blizzard has kind of gotten into the whole money grabbing thing. Like, the, they have two polar opposites. Like, look at look at Diablo Immortal, right? Oh my god, that game. But then they released Diablo 2 Resurrected, which has none of that, and it's just that's it's a Diablo game. It's it's what it is. It's now they're not doing the same with four because four is like gonna be more or less cosmetics battle pass system so you know live service but for me the majority of my games that i buy tend to be indie games and then in terms of um like these triple a studios it's honestly pretty much just anything tied to nintendo 
or Sony's like studios that don't tend to be life servicey. If you're talking about shooters like Call of Duty or Battlefield or sports games, it's like nah. I need to go back into that room with all the scanning stuff, so... Let me just see if this is anything. Okay, it's not. No, 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 ah. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not ready. Do I have to rescan these? I have to rescan them. Uh, I oh, know it. It's already been activated. No, I know it hasn't. I have to rescan them. Okay, let's look carefully. See if we can see any others from here. What I once flowed there. Well, no, I don't see any others. I just don't want to get knocked into the asset again. Or is this... Maybe I might be here too. Ah! No, there's another one over there. I see it. No, wait, no, it's not. Never mind. This room is, is just... <laughs> it's death. <laughs> maybe I, I should come back here later. This might be a thing where I'm just... It's too early for this. Because I don't... See any other symbols? I bet there's someone out there internally screaming right now, like they know where the symbols are and they're, they're like just waiting for me to figure it out. never played. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's one thing us streamers like to do is just sometimes invent chat members in our heads. I'm also a little bit ec extra self-conscious about taking too long right now. <laughs> Listen, I was playing Wind Waker. I was playing Wind Waker two nights ago to finish it and if you weren't here for that, oh boy. The last heart piece, I swear, it was like... Two I think two hours I spent looking for that stupid thing. And I was even going through a checklist, and, you know, it was late at night. There's another one. <laughs> it was late at night. So that's my defense, but also that there was another... Another thing that was very similar, so like I kind of ruled it out when I shouldn't have. And the end result was I was just, I was losing my mind. Just, I could not find this heart piece and then after like a couple of hours I found it. 
And I just don't want that to happen again here, like... But based on finding that third one, I think I just need to look better. I just need to look around more. You can pretend... <laughs> pretend that you know Phantom Bunny or pretend that you don't know. I miss the thing with the thing in the place, yeah. How could I do such a thing? Hello, by the way. I think that heart piece thing is, is definitely going to be like a contender for worst gaming moment of 2023 for me. I sh it should not have taken me that long to find that heart piece. Like I'm, Afterwards, I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe that took that long. Can I jump to here? No, I cannot. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Poor Samus. It's okay, we get to admire the, the landscape a bit. I think the worst part about this is these things don't die. They just keep coming back out. What if one of them is like just beyond here? I'm a firm believer of the longer something takes, the higher likelihood that the answer that you've been seeking is going to be something very minor, and you're going to feel like an idiot that you overlooked it. I'm a firm believer of that. And I think that's go that's going to be the case here. Where it's going to be somewhere where I'm going to be kicking myself for not looking there in the first place. <laughs> okay. Was that like popping a pimple for some of you that have played this, honestly? Like, just that relief? Just like, oh, that, there it is. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> okay, I, I need to go heal. I, I, I know, I know, I know. I know. I'm gonna have to scan them in again, aren't I? But the room is, is just back here, so... <laughs> Don't kill me, please. <laughs> Save the game. Okay. And with the power of knowledge, I can overcome this obstacle now. I've never liked dying in Metroid games because compared to other games, death in this game just... It seems to be way more serious. I don't know, you know. I, I feel bad when I die in a Metroid game. Because her suit pretty much disintegrates and it, it just... It's always so uh, horrific looking.
Wow, look at that, chat. I found them so quickly. First try. Wait a minute. <laughs> Still... Do I just... Is there one more? Is there one more? No. Oh, dude, really? <laughs> Is there one more? It's, what, is, what does it say? The gate has been unlocked. Oh. Okay. It's, it's false alarm. It's just the visor thing. Charge beam. Yes. Give charge beam. Play that fanfare. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so you just overload the eye. Oh, you don't have to wait for it to open up. Alright, cool. I don't know why I'm so twitchy right now. I guess because it's past midnight, but that that sound in my headphones scared the crap out of me just now. Wait, what is this upper path I'm seeing? It looks like there's a side path I missed. Hang on. Is this just a shortcut? Okay, maybe not. I love that you can see her reflection when I shoot rockets. Such a cool detail. Floor ventilation fan still functional despite multiple failed electrical connections. Okay. Trauma, you say? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Not enough trauma. Wait, I can't get up here? Lies! Unable to access magnetic rail system. Oh. Boo! Okay. Well, I guess we go out this door. Wait, where's the door? There's no door here. Did I just come in here for no reason? Let me just have one last look. Yeah, I think I need... Is it spider? I think spider is the, the attachment.
Okay, now I need to think where I'm going. Uh, straight ahead. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Record time. I'm going to do this in record time. I'm not it's not going to take as long as last time. Don't worry. Record time. Speed run. Speed run here. The source of toxins identified. Next chamber. Okay. Wait, how do I get back up from here? Ah. Recording to log in. Joke here is <laughs> okay. Stop making jokes and survive. Um, something about mosquitoes in Australia. I lost my train of thought. Sometimes I should just play the game and stop trying to be funny. What? Oh, you dick! Oh, okay. Oh, mosquito. Death by mosquito. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> when you die in a Metroid game, it's, it's just so harsh. Chose a ruins. Oh yes, listen to that voice. You Americans wouldn't know what that sounds like because you never got that in your version of the game. You had no narrator. Talking to you like this all the time. You saw a video of mosquitoes after a flood in Australia and it killed you inside. Phantom Bunny, would you like another video that would kill you on the inside? I have- I have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> I'm not gonna show them on stream because I feel like I've showed them way too many times. But, if you're interested in other things about Australia. Yes, okay. Go look up uh, a video of two koalas fighting. Go look up a video of two koalas fighting and you will learn how koalas sound like. And I promise you, you won't be able to unhear it. It's, and it's not what you would expect either. They fight? Yes, they, fi they fight. They do indeed. Very lazily so, but they do. Wait, was there a gruff male voice that growled Chozo Ruins? Yeah, so the explanation to this is... Uh, in... This game released first in North America. And that version of the game... Um, to make the deadline... They excluded... The voice. For the European and Australian version of the game... The voice does exist... But not completely. Like there are some parts that doesn't have that doesn't have it at all. 
I don't have the charge beam. And then the Japanese version has a uh, full voice everywhere. Like even even the opening, there's there's a narrator. So if you do get this, um, turn it on. It's it's in your options. How do you do options here? Options L, and then you go into sound, and then narration, and then you'll see the options. So there you go. So disables the narration that was added for the original European and Japanese versions of the game. The narration for cinematics only, and then this is the Japanese version, which I, I want to experience. So. There you go. I did that just in case anyone's watching it later and they didn't know this and got tripped out by that. <laughs> Why are they so mean? I mean, it happens. Animals fight. But like, you know, the sounds they make... The majority of the time it just sounds like, uh, I don't know, it almost sounds like a bird. But then when they get really aggressive, they sound like a tiger. It's it's kind of bizarre. You are now 14% more dead inside. Ah, oh, that's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, I need to save after I get this. I won't go down that side room, because then I'll know to come back later. Because we can't do anything in that side room anyway, so... I'll know to come back later. So wait, when you say 14% more dead inside, that means... I mean, what's the percentage at total now? If you added 14%, what's, what's the total? Just jump over them. Good. <laughs> Alright, saving just in case disaster strikes again. And we can not have to go through that again. I know I'm speaking English very, very well right now. This is the midnight brain kicking in where I'm just not forming sentences properly. I hate those tentacles, those vines, whatever you want to call them. And the other one's down here. Okay. Okay, the internet has a tendency to do this, just 
rob people of their innocence. Yes, got the vacuum now. Alright, but I guess that's... They're not going to bug me this time. Haha. <laughs> Okay, there's, there's another one. I see it. I see it. Okay. It's okay. Just don't get thrown down one more level. Right, how, how far does this pull? Oh, that is quite the vacuum. Ah! Okay. Fluid patterns analyzed are the source of... Yeah, well, we know. Okay. There's a reason I came up here. Where is it? Where's the last symbol? Well, <laughs> there we go. This one was more straightforward this time. No? Oh, I love that effect so much. I don't know if you can see it because of the bit, right? But you just see Samus' reflection whenever rockets are fired. It's so cool. Watch carefully as I'm about to do it again. Oh. Didn't happen that time. <laughs> the explosion wasn't big enough. those things so much. That's gonna be the boss. It's just gonna be... These tentacles all come from a boss. It makes sense. It's like, they're not... Yeah. I kind of expected something like this. <laughs> oh, damn. Flagra! 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 <laughs> I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. Damn. Did I take the easy way out or is this just first hit? No, okay, just the first hit. Don't forget to scan Flagra. Oh yeah, right. Good call. Cause this <laughs> it's only your, your only chance to do so. Okay, fla flagra, flagra, flag flagra. 
थैंक यू इट्स प्रोनाउंस जिम ओके स्पेल फ्लॉग प्रोनाउंस जिम गॉट It's just one of those hipster names. Oh, hey there, my dude. My name is Jim. It's spelled F L A A G R A, my dude. The F L A A H is silent. And then the G is pronounced like Jim, and then the R A is silent. Oh, what you dick already? I say stun it first. I got the feeling we move quicker when we're uh, a ball. Flagra, what are you doing, Flagra? Is this really gonna go to four hits? <laughs> I just look at the number of... I guess they're mirrors, but yeah. It's really gonna go to four, huh? This is kind of irritating. Okay, rockets did not do anything. Hurry up! One more. I think that's the key to this. I need to use rockets. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. We're not having any of that. You're going down, Flagra! Hey, Cammy, what's up? How's it going? Now it is a beautiful spring. Good, how am I? Doing okay. Just playing uh, this for the first time. It's, it's 
quite fun. Various sort. Man, this must have been so cool to see back in the day. From something that was traditionally 2D and then seeing this. Yeah, not a whole lot. Been playing Minish Cap and uh, this. Wind Waker's done. It really was, yeah. I mean, the only thing I experienced to that extent was um, Mario 64. Like, that to me was just mind-blowing. Seeing that for the first time, having only played 2D games and 2D Mario games. Fire, you say? Okay, no, but like, this just means we have... Rocket? No. Okay. I guess we come back later. We don't have fire. I was going to try and climb in. <laughs> no, there's nothing. Alright. The important thing to do right now is save. Can I scan the fish? No fish scan. Okay. Ugh, I love the ambience of this game. I've scanned 25% of the logbook already, chat. Look at that. I am... I'm all about the science here. Oh, I know where this is. Okay, see now this... Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> this makes sense now. It's that side room that I was wondering what you do. Which means now I can go out this way. Wait, where is... No, wait, no it's not. What is this? No, this is different. Uh... Okay, hold on. I'm going through the door first. Ah, <laughs> lost, lost my uh, my perspective there for a sec. Oh, there we go. These metal gates block entry to the center of the room. Okay, nope. <laughs> I tried shooting a rocket. <laughs> Did not work. This appears to be the second of three locking mechanisms that seal the gate. It appears to be the third. First. Okay. Maybe this is something I can't do yet. Yeah, probably. 
probably not. I mean, it almost looked like I could climb. No, I can. Okay, so that's the first. It doesn't look like I have the ability to do the other two. Unless... Oh, it, it, it's been a while. It's been a while. I haven't done that. I have not done this in years. Like the classic ball jump thing. There we go. Got it. Yeah. I was gonna try. Hey. I need to save this. <laughs> I have to save this because I'm worried I'm going to die. Just a little bit worried. Ah. Oh. Okay, now I'm less worried, but at the same time... Okay, hang on, let's have a look at this. I need to go back to where I came. It's a bad idea to continue this way. Even though the save point is down there, like, I might just have to hold out to the next one. Ugh, <laughs> oh, is this gonna be a bad idea? Access to Magma Cap. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. So hang on, let me read this map. I've gone further than I wanted to. So hang on, to get to where I'm talking about, needs to go through that room. No, I'm just going to go down. <laughs> because sometimes when you arrive in a new area, there's a save point right there. And that's, that's what I'm looking for. This music. Okay. We made it. Okay, this is a good opener to Prime. But I'm gonna leave Prime here for tonight. Um, we're gonna continue it tomorrow. I don't think there's any quit to menu. It's fine. I'll just leave it here and then go stand by. Uh, I got one more thing I want to play tonight, and that's Animal Crossing, because I've been neglecting New Leaf. And I don't want my villagers to start giving me passive-aggressive comments. 
And uh, last time I stopped playing for a week, for some reason they all wanted to fight each other. I don't know why. I, but, you know, uh, I'll play that for a little bit and then, yeah, that'll be the wrap up for the stream. But if you're here for Metroid Prime, I appreciate you stopping by. But we'll continue this tomorrow. Pretty much after Minish Cap, so that'll be the lineup for tomorrow. I just need a couple minutes to uh, refill my water bottle and stretch my legs, but we'll we'll do some New Leaf for a little bit just to chill and wind down the evening. At least for me, it's evening. But yeah, give me give me two minutes and we'll do some Animal Crossing. <laughs> All right. But yeah, if you've watched this later on YouTube, thanks for uh, tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far. <laughs> 